In this video breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite defenses in Madden 22. It's a cover three blitz, little five-man pressure. And I actually really like how this pressure will play for you, specifically in terms of how it's going to come in consistently against the bunch formation um, in a situation where they're either blocking the running back or they're sending uh, five people out on a route. Now, this comes to us out of the uh, 46 playbook. We're actually going to do this out of the big nickel uh, formation. And what makes this so good is it's a real simple adjustment out of big nickel to make this effective. So um, you can, if you want to, run a base alignment on your nickel normal or I'm sorry, your big nickel, um, but you can also do it a default if you want to. Um, it's up to you. But the play that we're going to be breaking down today um, is the weak safety blitz three. Now, if you take a look at the play art real quickly here, you can also do the same setup will apply out of the weak safety blitz one and the weak safety blitz two. But what I like about weak safety blitz three is it has the seam flats. So if I wanted to have seam flats, I can have them. Or what I can also do is I can shade my coverage down and be able to create hard flats out of these purple zones to be able to jump those quick flat routes to make my opponent have to hold the ball for just a second longer where our pressure can come in. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to, you can run it just like this, like literally just stand right here. And the blitz normally will come through the A gap or if you contain, it'll come in. Um, that's an easy way that you can kind of create this. But what I like to do to make it look the same, I'm going to show blitz. I'm going to pinch my D line. I'm going to, from there, um, crash my defensive line out. And then if you want to, you can slide this guy in and put him on a contain or contain rush. And then I like to stand right here and be able to essentially lurk the tight end wheel. One thing I would really advise if you're going to play this defense, this approach to defense is really effective, especially if you man up and shade inside that backside solo receiver. And I'm going to show why in just a second. But what you'll notice here with this defense is we'll be able to get really good pressure um, off this left edge, as you can see. And I'll show it to you one more time here. So, again, just show blitz. Um, you don't even have to contain like literally just just do it like this this is fine and then just shade down this will save you some steps with adjustments and then you're going to be over here lurking right and what you'll see again you know you're just gonna i like to blitz my user you don't have to but you can blitz your user um just to make it a little bit more consistent and as you can see the edge pressure is what we're looking to try to create now the reason that i like to contain is because if i slide this guy in on contain what you'll see with this is let's say that they block a running back in the case that they block a running back, this contain will loop around the running back just like it would out of the nickel 335 wide. So that's something um, in addition that we can actually gain out of this. I'll show you here that if I just do this version of a contain, um, I found that this can still come in, but it's not quite as consistent. You see the running back's able to pick him up. Really what you want is you want the guy coming free to be on a contain. And really, that's all you need. So just literally, if I just slide this guy in just as, just enough to, you know, say I did. And then I could even do something like this and then use this guy. I actually like this a lot. This is a really good setup for me. And then this allows me to kind of be really aggressive, you know, down here like so. But anyways, what I'll show you is now with the blocked running back, there you're still going to get this loop edge pressure coming in. Now, I also wanted to show one thing about the coverage real quick, a little bit longer of a blitz of the day. And again, if you want to learn this entire Big Nickel over G defense, just go ahead and grab my Patreon membership. It's only $10 to sign up and get you access to everything. But one of the most popular ways that people like to attack uh, a heavy blitz would be to go to a wheel route to the running back. So what you'll see with this is if I have an out route to Mike Evans to p pull the flat, and then I have this... Um, I have this uh, wheel route this uh, because I've manned up square what you'll see here is this will play the wheel significantly better and as you can see right there so that's a little bit of an adjustment that's a, a bunch specific adjustment that I think could help a lot of people just be better against the wheel the wheel route meta out a bunch now unfortunately my favorite thing to do out of this would be to put this outside um, corner in an outside quarter zone and the because it's going to defend the skinny post really well the problem is unfortunately i haven't had the same exact result he'll still play it fairly decently but it's nowhere near as effective as it as it would be if i manned him up but the the it's kind of a chess match but the bottom line is because like let's say they're doing something like this if they're doing something like this setup right here you'll notice here that this outside quarter 
in and then I could put this guy like I can now from from over here I can do all kinds of stuff I could do something like this and play a cover two because I literally don't have to care uh, at all about the middle of the field I literally have nothing to do with the middle of the field because what you'll see is this post will do real or this um, quarter will just absolutely bag that post route so that's another little trick that you can use to kind of slow down some of the bunch meta um, those are a couple things I've been talking about that for a little while now but that that right there is one of my favorite ways is, uh, to blitz out of against bunch and like I said like I said um, you really don't need an outside third on the right because all the routes are going to run so doing something like this and now I have a, I still have a middle third in case they run that skinny post and I have an outside third over here and then now I'm over here able to lurk the tight end the tight end wheel so like if they do something like this this setup's completely bagged I'm right here like they basically have to try to force the crosser against your user so anyways that's a little bit of a new way to blitz bunch a little bit of a new concept but something that I've really uh, I've really been doing a lot out of big nickel and if you want to learn everything that I do out of big nickel big nickel is my favorite defense in the game I literally think that you can shut down every offense with big nickel because of all of the different concepts we can create from it so if you want to check out my full big nickel over g defensive ebook i'm going to put a link in the description to my patreon it's only ten dollars to get access to everything over there and big nickel is my favorite defense by far this year for so many reasons alignment can quarterback contain match principles coverage systems everything has everything in there that you need to be successful thanks for watching the video and if you want to check out my big nickel over g defense the link is down below